Hello and welcome back to PySpark for Beginners. We're on chapter 4, where we're talking about aggregating, summarizing data into useful reports. In this section, we're going to take a look at number 1, calculating averages with map and reduce. And then we're going to move on to number 2, faster average computations with aggregate. And at the very last, we're going to talk about pivot tabling with key value paired data points. Let's first talk about calculating averages with map and reduce. We're going to answer three questions in this video. How do we calculate averages? What is map? And what is reduce? Let's take a look. So by now you should be fairly familiar with my view of how we can navigate through a new piece of software. The first thing to do is always checking out the documentation. Here I've opened up the documentation for map. Map takes two arguments, one of which is optional. The first argument to map is f, which is a function that gets applied to the RDD throughout by the function map. And the second argument or parameter, if you may, is preserves partitioning, which is defaulting to false. If we look at the documentation, it says that map simply re returns a new RDD by applying a function to each element of this RDD. And obviously, this a function refers to f that we feed into the map function itself. There is a very simple example below in the documentation where it says if we parallelize an RDD that contains a list, of three characters b a and c and we map a function that creates a tuple off of each element we'll create a list of three tuples which the original character is placed in the first element of the tuple and the number or the integer one is placed in the second now let's look at reduce so reduce takes only one argument, which is f. And this f is a function where it uses this function f to reduce a list into one number. So if we look at it in a more technical point of view. It reduces the elements of this RDD using the specified commutative and associative binary operator. So you don't really need to understand this. I'm going to show you through examples what this means. And if we look at the example again, we're simply taking a list of five items and we're going to add them together. Let's dig into a real example using the KDD data that we have been using throughout. So we first go into our Jupyter Notebook. Let's dig into a where we launch a Spark Notebook. So we use the method specified in the last videos to launch a Jupyter Notebook instance that links to a Spark instance. Like before, we create a raw data variable by loading a text file from the local disk. The next thing to do is to split this file into comma-separated values. And then we would like to filter for rows where the 41st feature features the word normal. The next thing to do is to use the map function to convert this data into an integer. And then finally, we can use the reduce function to compute the total duration. And then we can print the total duration. And there we have our total duration. And so the next thing to do is to divide this total duration with the count of the data.
And after a little computation, we would have created the count using map and reduce. We've just learned how we can calculate averages with PySpark and what is map and reduce functions in PySpark.